Hello friends, today uh, I'll be talking about uh, a small growth which we uh, usually see on the eyelids and this is called Clazion. This is uh, quite common in our practice to see a patient uh, coming to us with a small bead which is painless usually on the upper lid but it can occur uh, on lower lid as well and uh, mostly uh, it involves uh, young people between the age of uh, 30 years to 50 years uh, but can occur in uh, any age group. So let's see uh, what a clazion actually is. See we have some oil glands in our uh, eyelids which are called mimobium glands. So any granulomatous uh, inflammation of the mimobium gland causes blockage of their ducts. So whatever secretions mimobium glands are making, they remain stuck inside the gland only and they don't get an escape route. So they keep on collecting uh, inside the gland and it forms a swollen uh, bead-like appearance on the lid. So, uh, but then most of the cases, uh, there is no infection in uh, these cases. Hence, there is no pain except some uh, distension feeling. There are some uh, predisposing uh, conditions which can uh, cause uh, clazion and these include uh, the most common one being blephritis. So if you have uh, blephritis in your eyes, you are likely to get uh, clazion. Then uh, tuberculosis uh, can lead to this uh, condition and viral conjunctivitis which is a very common uh, condition uh, in the northern part of the India. Uh, after viral conjunctivitis, uh, you may get uh, a small uh, bead-like uh, growth on your eyelid which is called clazion. Since uh, it is a painless condition, so most of the uh, patients uh, keep on uh, uh, you know, delaying uh, the treatment part. Most of the people come to us uh, after say 4 to 6 weeks of uh, the occurrence because there is no pain. But it is advisable that uh, the moment you see uh, bead like uh, swelling on the uh, eyelids, you must immediately come to the uh, doctor. Only then uh, we can start treatment early and can expect uh, resolution of uh, clazion even without surgery. Otherwise, if it becomes late, then surgery remains the uh, only option uh, with us. Most important thing in this is the precaution. We should take certain precautions uh, so that we can avoid formation of clazion. These uh, precautions include uh, hand hygiene, eye hygiene, maintaining uh, hygiene during contact lens use and eye makeup hygiene which is very very important. So uh, if uh, somebody has taken all the precautions uh, uh, still uh, they get a clazion, a painless uh, growth on their eyelid, then they should immediately go to uh, their doctor and not delay the treatment part. Because in initial stages, uh, we can try uh, some methods by which we can avoid surgery later on and uh, some of the patients, say about one third to half of the patients can be cured without surgery. So initially uh, what we suggest uh, patients is that uh, they do some massage onto their eyes by squeezing their eyelids from upper to lower side and in lower eyelid from lower to upper side towards the lashes. The massage should be towards the uh, eyelashes. This may help in certain cases uh, to resolve the uh, clazion. Uh, alongside uh, massage, we must uh, give hot compresses to the uh, eyelids which may also help in dissolving the uh, clazion material which is uh, collected inside the growth. So hot compress and eye massage, gentle eye massage can help in uh, certain cases. But once you go to uh, your eye doctor, uh, immediately uh, they can start with the uh, low steroids that is chloromethanol along with tear substitutes and then you do hot compress as well as uh, uh, eye massage. 
we uh, wait for a uh, few weeks say three to four weeks and if we see that uh, the growth is resolving on its own or has reduced in the size then we can continue with the, this treatment for another two to three weeks but if the growth is very hard and there is no reduction in the sign in first three weeks of time then some doctors uh, prefer uh, giving a steroid injection locally into the growth this has been uh, practice for quite some time and some of the patients also respond to uh, local steroid injection into the growth in the end if all these methods have been tried and still the growth remains there then in that case uh, we have to do surgery take care of uh, your eyelashes so that you don't get uh, these growths in your eyelids